I think one of the fantastic things about performing some of the great masterworks is that over the course of a lifetime, you get to perform it several different times. And the wonderful thing about these works and why we perform them so often is that you get something different each time you perform them. And so I'm finding things even now that I haven't uh, um, uh, seen or knew about, you know, the first time I performed it. And the first time I performed it was pretty spectacular. Um, we went on tour to Eastern Europe um, as well as to Salzburg and I performed this with a course that was led by my future graduate advisor. I had just been accepted to Carnegie Mellon University for graduate studies. And in the summer before uh, heading to Carnegie Mellon, we went on tour together um, as part of his choir and I was invited to go along. And so we performed the Verdi Requiem uh, in Mozart's church in Salzburg, which was an amazing experience, especially because the echo was about three seconds long. And so something as bombastic as the Dies Irae really filled the place. And it was unbelievable, uh, the amount of sound, as well as the experience performing with such incredible musicians. Um, I think coming to it as a conductor um, is very interesting because as a singer, you're involved really in the moment and performing you know, the various aspects. But as a conductor, you're constantly thinking about the scope as you're preparing as well as working on the work. And to me, this time it's fantastic because what comes across is the excess um, that Verdi's character and his compositional style and the time period in which he composed is a truly operatic composer taking these themes and emotions involved in a requiem, you know, the, the, obviously the tragedy, the lamenting, as well as uh, um, the depictions of the day of, of, of destruction, um, the angelic choirs of the Sanctus or whatnot, and taking it to such extremes that it uh, has uh, um, a lot of meaning, especially because between the time that I did the tour to Salzburg um, and Eastern Europe with this chorus, I hadn't known as much about his operas back then. And so I think for the chorus members, especially if they've had the ability to perform this four times, um, if they've been in the chorus for that long, um, likewise, I hope they find something different each time they perform it, because that's why these pieces are the great masterworks, not because they're immensely popular, but it, because each layer, each uh, um, the more you look, the more you find. And so that makes me excited about even this time, but the next time I get to perform it as well.